Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and today we are looking at five games that I missed on the GameCube. And honestly, the last one, you're probably just not gonna believe me that I've never actually played this game before. Now, all the games I'm gonna show you today, I've seen gameplay of them, and they look cool and interesting, I just never got around to playing them myself. But let's go ahead and dive in and see what the first game on the list is. And this one might shock you as well, but Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I've never played this game, so let's go take a look at it. And here it is, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now, I gotta say, the graphics in this game are super fun. You can tell that, you know, it's what uh, the paintbrush one ended up going into on the Wii U, but I kinda like this better because it's very flat while still having dimension to it. The dialogue is pretty funny at times. There is a very cool, unique paper like aesthetic to it, and obviously that's kind of the point, being a Paper Mario game. But the gameplay is super fun. I don't really like turn-based combat in games, but in games like this, they make it a lot of fun. They make it uh, timing-based as well, which is cool. And from what I can tell so far, at least, it's got a pretty fun story to it. Obviously, you know, I am nowhere near the completion of this game yet. I'm just still in the beginning part scratching the surface. But overall, I mean, I really like what I've played so far, and I cannot wait to dive in more for this. Now, the next game on the list, I have definitely played a ton of the games in the franchise, but I never got around to playing this one because I had moved on to other things by that time, and that is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. So I'm really excited. If it's anything like the others, it should be a blast. So let's go ahead and dive in and check out Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Now, here with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, What's awesome about it is it feels just like other Tony Hawk games, meaning it has easy to pick up and play gameplay. And while the graphics, of course, are a step up, it's nice to be able to just pick up the controller and go and play the game. I'm still not very good at it, but I'm able to just play it. And I don't have to have a huge learning curve or anything like that. It is cool that instead of it being like a time level where you have all your tasks you got to complete in that time, then you replay the level a bunch, it's more of like an open free skate kind of feel. And there are people with missions that you can go and do all over the different levels. And I don't know, I, I really like that. It was neat because it gives you a chance to just go explore and free skate, or you can go and you can find new goals and things to do. The levels feel super big, the graphics are solid, I like the character selection in it. And overall, I mean, with the GameCube controller, because I'd only ever played these on PlayStation and a little bit on Xbox, but with the GameCube controller, it's actually really nice. It flows very nicely. So yeah, I mean, I really like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 on GameCube. Now the next game on the list is one that I have wanted for quite a while because Jay over at Square Pegs recommended it and I saw gameplay and it looked like it would be super fun and right up my alley. And I was finally able to get one this past year and that is Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. So I'm very excited. This game looks like it's gonna be amazing. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Up next here, we have Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. And I gotta say, even though this game is definitely old now, I mean, it has really good graphics and it has a really cool aesthetic to it. So far, the story has been very intriguing. Obviously, I'm not super far into the game yet, but I am definitely enjoying going through and playing it. It has some really fun like game mechanics and puzzles to it. It's got some cool characters in there and it's just, it. It's a cool, intriguing experience that kind of just draws you in right away. And I appreciate that, especially because it is a 3D platformer and there are tons of 3D platformers, but I don't know what it is. They just, they did a really good job with this and I haven't gotten fully to the collect-a-thon like aspect of it, but overall, I mean, the gameplay is solid. Even the camera movement feels really nice in it, which sometimes wasn't always the best case on a GameCube and it has nice audio and level design, like the music in the background is not overpowering, it's very nice. Uh, there are cool collectibles, there's some nice goofy characters and stuff like that, and some goofy dialogue that's happening, and it's just, it's fun. I'm really enjoying the game. Now the next game on the list is one that a lot of people kind of dump on, but it always looked really fun. And I've always heard that if you just drop the title off it, it would actually be a, an amazing game on its own. But instead, they put this title on it, and I think that's where people had a problem. This is Star Fox Adventures. Now, I believe it was originally gonna be called Dinosaur Planet, um, but 
The game looks awesome. I like a good Star Fox game. So let's dive in, check it out, and see what it's like. And now we're finally on to Star Fox Adventures. Now, I will say, graphically, the game looks fantastic. It has a really cool kind of dark and mysterious aesthetic going on with it. Um, I will say the language that they're speaking, whatever it is, like, it's kind of cool. It helps immerse you, but at the same time, although it added to the vibe of the game, it was getting a little annoying at times. I kind of wish I could just, like, turn it off and uh, read the subtitles. But, I mean, the level designs are fun. They have some cool little puzzles. It's got some cool-looking characters and enemies. And, I mean, it it is 100% that this does not feel like a Star Fox game at all. Which, I mean, obviously that's kind of weird considering it's a Star Fox game. But at the same time, it's because this game was originally meant to be Dinosaur Planet. And they made it Star Fox, like, in the 11th hour. And you can tell, this is not a regular Star Fox game by any means. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. And honestly, if you remove the Star Fox out of it, it's a cool game on its own. It's just they adopted another IP to be able to make this game happen. And now we are officially at the fifth and final game in today's video. And like I said, you will probably not believe me. And that's okay because this game, it had a ton of market saturation, but I never had a GameCube as a kid. I didn't get one until much later in life. And it was one that I picked up, always intending to play, and just never did. But before I show you what that video is, if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and let me know down in the comments below what you thought about the list so far. But this final fifth game for the list today, Mario Kart Double Dash. I've never played it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never played it, but I've always heard it's amazing and I am very excited to check this one out. So let's go take a look. And now last but certainly not least, we have Mario Kart Double Dash. And man, am I bummed that I waited so long to actually play this game because this game is friggin' awesome, man. So I really like the graphical style of this. You know, most Mario Kart games are very cartoony in nature. And while yes, this is Nintendo, it's inherently going to have cartoony aspects to it. I don't know what it is. The graphical style in this Mario Kart in particular, it kind of gives off like, I don't know, like a claymation kind of vibe. It's not claymation, but I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but the graphics in it, they have just, I don't know, a weird look and feel to them, but I really like it. Now, the tag team is a neat mechanic, but I mean, honestly, it didn't really pull me into the game that much. Uh, I mean, the levels, those are super fun. The drifting is super easy to control in this game, which was nice. It took me a minute to figure out what I was supposed to do, but it's really cool and I like it. And the character selection was super solid and I am definitely excited to unlock more characters because one of the ones I was super surprised about was Toad, was not a starting character that you could use. So I really hope he's later in the game, but Toad is usually my go-to character and there was no Toad. So I went Yoshi and Daisy on this one. And honestly, like, it's fun. I really enjoyed it. I am looking forward to playing this more. And it's cool to go back to the original game that these levels came from because I've played these levels in Mario Kart 8, as have most people. And I don't know, it's just, it. It was fun. I am sad that I missed out on it when it first came out, but I'm happy that I am playing it now. And it is a really cool game. I would highly recommend it. Very fun. So there you have it, everyone. Those are five GameCube games that I missed and just never got around to playing until now. And I gotta say, these games are awesome. These are really cool games. And I am very excited to go through the collection and find a bunch more games that I haven't done yet. Now, if you wanna see another GameCube uh, version of this kind of video, let me know down in the comments below, or if there is another console that you're curious about games that I missed, or if there's games that you missed, maybe we missed the same one and we can enjoy a new game together. But a quick recap, we had Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. We had Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. We had Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. We had Star Fox Adventures and we had Mario Kart Double Dash. Again, all five of these games, absolutely amazing. So happy they're in the collection and I can't wait to play more of these, especially Double Dash. I mean, that game is awesome. I, I'm very sad that I missed it when it first came out, but very happy that I have it in the collection now and it is an awesome game. Now, if you liked today's video and you wanna check out another recent video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.